Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG, the hometown Kitchen Table TCG. Uh, today, Josh and I are going to play some Legions Realms at War. Josh and I have been diving into this game in our private conversations and hangouts. Uh, and today we just feel like, hey, let's just record. We almost streamed. We should have streamed. I need to stream more. How are you, buddy? Dude, I've, I'm having, like, the best week ever. It's it's incredible. Things are going great. I told you to stream. You said you're not going to do it. Yeah. At this point, the hometown kitchen table, It's are we just the same channel? Is it just yeah, channel? might as well. We might as well just combine channels and still not have that many views. It'd be great. Hey, um, okay. <laughs> too, too mean. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we'll be playing Legion's Realms of War. We've, I've played a lot of this on the channel already. Uh, obviously, I've got the Louie Louie bundle um all that stuff but uh just a game that i love i'll leave a link to all that stuff in the comment section but a game that i absolutely love i'm honored to be in and excited to be in uh and i want to keep making content for it because it's super fun so i'm playing my undead i'm still really uh hopping in to get used to the undead uh what are you playing oh you're playing heroes I, again no i'm playing dwarves because oh, just dwarves. like you go. love the undead deck i absolutely love the dwarf deck and i've got some inside intel uh, spoiler alert, I am also all in on Legion's Realms at War. I don't have a bundle or my face on the card, but I've been loving playing the game. <laughs> and just like you, I'm only playing one deck because I'm having so much freaking fun with it. You also have like a, I haven't even like fully built out my deck. You have like a fully built out competitive deck, which is cool. Yes, but that is shout out Taylor for the fully built out competitive deck yeah. and the guidance there. I've he's made like, my He's like, Louis doesn't need one of these. <laughs> No, he just needs his face yeah, on a card for his uh, yeah. ego. Oh, stop it. <laughs> um, all right, so the top in, uh, I've shuffled my deck. I'll shuffle again for posterity. Uh, what do we draw? We draw. S oh, you can shuffle my deck? That's cool. We draw six, and yep. then you can mully if you want. Yep, you get want. a chance to mully, so let's draw six. Uh, while we're looking over at a mully, do you want to explain kind of what the goal of your deck is, and then I'll do the same? Yeah, for the, my, people that the, might not the goal yet? for my deck is to utilize my graveyard and destroy the... Uh, destroy the opponents and then i utilize my graveyard to kind of bring things back it's like a really cool graveyard recursion deck and then life as a resource for sure uh with the uh the damage count max of six for mortis yes I, so Mor Michael, mortis has like a board ahead. wipe attached to it uh yeah deal x damage to all warriors on the field so there's a lot of like killing my warriors while i'm killing your warriors yes and my goal is more of a tempo board state control. Uh, it plays a lot of bounce spells and then tries to use big turns uh, chained off certain unified spells to go over the top. So it's, uh, it's a game of attrition between the two of us here, and I'm pretty stoked. How's your opening hand looking? Uh, I'm keeping. I mean, I don't know how good it looks, but I'm, I never mulligan. Mulligans for weaklings. <laughs> I am looking at what I'm doing right here, and I think... I'm keeping, but gosh, who knows? Just keep. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep. I like the fun. mulligan rule in this game. You get to draw the same number of cards, but I get an extra card if you mulligan. I, um, I think that's I, cool. I, I made these big dice large for me. Go ahead and grab your own green dice over there because blues matches my theme here. So uh, uh, take it, I'm not that taking fancy. my dice, you jerk. I'm not that fancy. All right. Hey, dude, I got about a VR set. So the next time we do this, I'll be in VR. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> You can actually <laughs> pretend to throw the cards yeah, at me. I'll, expect, then I'll like break my computer. All right. Uh, so who's going first? Do we want to roll it up? Yeah, let's roll it up. I feel like you just set that on a four. <laughs> All right. You can you can decide. <laughs> All right. I think I'm supposed to go first with this hand. I think you're probably also not supposed to look. That's fine. Until you decide. But whatever. This is not competitive. Don't forget your veil counter. Here, I'll help you out. Okay, so the way it works is my va your veil starts at three. Yep. So at the start of your turn, does your your special ability doesn't tick down until you use it. So at the start Sorry. of the turn, I will tick down my veil counter, my cooldown, and when it gets to zero, you pierce the veil and you flip over your veil card to reveal your realm card. Uh, I'm going to start by conscripting a warrior to the field. Am I? Am I? I lied. I'm going to play into the Blast Forge. So I'm going to play my first unified card. Unified cards are cards you can play on your turn. It says each time a Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior is conscripted to your side of the field, reveal the top card of your deck, and it's revealed it's a Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior. I can conscript it to the field. If it's not, I send it to the discard pile. So I'm going to roll the dice here. 
and I'm going to conscript a warrior, so I have to reveal the top card of my deck. It is not a Blast Forge Warrior, so I put it in my discard pile. Important to note that the uh, that your unified card has ACT on it, uh, and ACT means that it remains active, so it does not go in your discard pile. It stays on the field. Yes. All right, so your warrior here is a three. You cannot attack because it's turn one. Yes, I cannot attack because it's turn one. Cool. Oh. Oops. I'm going to play Blast Fact from the Blast Forge. It's once per turn. If a Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior is conscripted to your side of the field, target one card on the field, return the targeted card to its owner's hand. And if, if this card is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can target one card on the field and return it to its owner's hand. Okay. I don't have anything on the field, so it wouldn't matter. Passing? And then, I don't think so. I think I'm supposed to do this. I'm going to play this unified card, Kelator's Explosive Kit. Search your deck for one Blast Forge card and add the card to your six, but it does cost Bloodborne six. So, it's important to note that your life total goes up here. Yeah. So, I'll search my deck. And yeah. then... After that, I'll be done, and you'll be able to go. So you've got this damage count max, everyone. So your my my hero maximum damage is sixty five. His is seventy. So he's taking six damage in order to do that. Um, and I'm going to get this blast forge warrior. Cool. Put and another important thing to note that the artwork here is all theme deck specific. It's all done by the same artist as like a comic book style. But the art in the main set looks much more like this one on Mortis. Um, or uh, let's see, that's not. But yeah, this is like the artwork that looks a lot more like that so just in case anybody wanted to know that with the artwork here we go i'm drawing uh I'm all going right to, it is your turn i'm going to set some fortifieds uh that i can set on my turn but i can't play it until your turn so the way fortifieds work are you there cards you have to place onto the field so they're out there and available but they can't be played until your opponent's turn while Unifieds are played on your turn. So think if you're a Magic player, Sorcery versus Instant. All right. Um, I'm going to play Camellia's Grim Cry of the Death. Uh, this is a Unified card that does not have ACT. It does cost Bloodborne 4. Uh, this will end up going to my graveyard because it does not have ACT. Send the top two cards of my deck to the discard pile, then search my deck for one Grim Undead card and add it to my hand. So I am going to take one and two. Uh, let's see if there's any effect as those hit. Uh, sorry, before then that resolves, I do the uh, I search my deck for one Grim Undead Warrior card. So I yes. Will search. I'm going to take um, this one, the Grim Undead. I'm going to take uh, Grim Re Reanimation. Put it in my hand. If I can figure out how to do that. Uh, yeah, I can do that, right? Grim Undead card, yep. Okay, uh, then I'm going to shuffle this. And then uh, this has no effect when it goes to the graveyard from the search or from the thing, but uh, and this one also does not. Some some of my cards have an effect when I basically mill them. All right, now I'm going to play the card I just looked for. Hmm. Ooh, this man's got tech. Yeah, played this baby. Uh, Grim re uh, reanimation. Uh, this is a unified target one Grim undead warrior in my discard pile. I'll revive it to my side of the field. This costs four. Um, I'm going to revive. Search. This guy. So you got what one, one in there? Yeah. Okay. Revive that to the field. I'm going to put him over here. So it actually does matter where you put these warriors, which is pretty cool. Um, and then... Yeah, I'm, I haven't figured out how that works yet. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to play this warrior. And this has wisdom. This is uh, Agatha. Wisdom when this works. And so play the controlling player. Looks at the top two cards of their deck. Then they add one to the hand and one to the bottom of the deck. So I'll look at these cards. Uh, you don't... I don't think you have to show me. I know. Well, I don't know how to look at them without that. So, uh, uh, alt, 
and then alt shift if they're face down oh, alt wow. shift and you can look at the bottom side of them wow okay well yeah uh... you teach me legions i'll teach you tts dude <laughs> I will put that on the bottom. Now, while you're looking, we do have these synergy cards, but the synergy cards cannot be activated until you have pierced the veil. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I should have taken this down, too, the start of my turn. Miss Trigger, Judge! <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to play this Whispers of the Grim. I'm going to send the top three cards of my deck to the discard pile. Uh, one. Do it, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna look target, at the value. Send the top three cards. One, two. We'll do this in a second. Three. That'll, those will go to my discard pile, and then uh, target one face-up unified card on the field for each. Oh, sorry, I do reveal these. Uh, so for each grim undead. Uh, so that's one, two, and three. All have grim in their name. Uh, so target one face-up unified card on the field for each Grim that was sent to the discard pile and then destroy the target card. So I'm going to target both of your unified cards. All three. That's OP. Oh, you only have two. I only have two. Uh, yeah. Let's see. And I don't have any unified cards, so I would not have to do any more. Yeah. And then... I'm going to play this unified, and I'm going to target one warrior in my discard pile and revive it to the field. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the Lycra and the Roth. And the, grim, the grim guard dog, dude. Yeah. Then I'm going to swing at your uh, Blastforge Bludgeoner um, with two. And that will die, and you'll be down to two. And then oh, does that work? Does damage stick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, until end okay. of turn. And then okay. I will swing it with a Gotha for one, and a Gotha okay. will die, and your Ozic Blastforge Bludgeoner will die. All right. And then I will swing at your Warlord for three with my Lycan Roth. Sounds good. And that's the end of my turn. A very long turn. How about to say it? you did a you did a lot there? Yeah. You're good. Don't forget to count. Uh, oh, this is done. That's, oh, yeah, get your unified card out of there, sir. All right. I am going to count this down, and then I believe I draw a card, correct? Mm hmm. All right. Draw a card. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Lago, the Blast Forge Tunnel Digger. Tunnel Digger. It says, when this warrior enters play, the controller player offers their deck to an opponent to cut. The player cuts the deck, and the controller player draws a card from the pile of the deck that you cut to. I don't know how we're supposed to do that in TTS. Yeah, uh, let's just split. I'm going to split it into three stacks, and you pick. Well, no, you cut it to something, yeah, and then I just draw the top right, card. Yeah, take that card right there. All right. Cool. I'll rotate it for you. You, you I work. I, I got it. You work. I, I'll... Okay. Because you don't shuffle your deck. It goes back the way it is. Yep. And that is important. And I have to look at my discard pile here. Interesting. What's he looking for? What's he searching for? Yeah, why were you just searching through my deck? I wasn't. Was that me? Was I searching through my deck? Was I, I, I savage, savagely cheating? <laughs> okay. So I have... I can eradicate this card from my discard pile to target one blast forward card to my discard pile as one as one as well as one card on the field. I can add the targeted blast forward card to my hand and destroy the other targeted card. So I'm going to target this fortified card. So I'm going to pay eight. All right, what one are you targeting? 
this one. Okay. In response to you targeting that, uh, I'm going to activate it. Uh, when this card is first activated, send the top card of my deck to the discard pile. Okay. Uh, oops, what did I do? It is... Um, if this card is sent to my deck from the discard pile, you can target up to three Grim deck dead cards from a discard pile and eradicate them and deal three damage to all warriors target player controls. Uh, okay. Are you going to... Are you going to resolve that and find your three? You can target the three Grim Undead cards in your discard pile and write up to. So I can just do one and then deal three damage to all warriors. I can target up to three Grim Undead cards. Yeah, I will just target one. I don't know why. Yeah, that sure seems like the way that that card is worded. Yeah, I'm going to target uh, this one. I'm going to eradicate that. Okay. And then I'm going to destroy your warrior. All right. He goes to the graveyard. Um, and then this card comes out. Uh, as long as this card remains face up on the field, all face up grim undead cards. Well, it, you're targeting this anyway. So this then gets destroyed, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Anything else you're doing? Yep. So I get to resolve my card effect, and I'll get Blast back from the Blast Forge okay. back into my hand, and I'll play Blast back from the Blast Forge. Okay. I will play... What? How big is your guy? A three? There's no summoning sickness in this game, right? Nope. Oh, I didn't activate this last time. This says if a, if this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target one card on the field and return the targeted card to your opponent's hand. Mm. Sure, uh, that would have been... Should have read your cards. Gosh, yeah. that artwork's sweet. It really is. <laughs> It says, okay, so this card says Bloodborne Forge is an additional cost to play this card. Discard one Blast Forge card from my hand. Okay. I will discard. This Lady Warrior. And then I can. So I have to play Bloodborne Four. It says, target one Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior in your discard pile. Conscript the targeted warrior to your side of the field. Okay. So I will search. I will get... I think I'm going to get the Meaty Legend here. Okay. And with this, this trigger, I'm going to return this fortified card to your hand. Okay. Or wait, I'm going to... No, I'm going to return this warrior to your hand. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's got no ETB. And then it says, oh, oops, I did that wrong too. I'm not discarding this card. The card that I discarded, I'm choosing a, and discarding a different Blast Forge card. Okay. Because it also says I can conscript an additional Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior to my hand this turn. Yeah. Or from my hand this turn. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to make sure I can do that. So I'll play this warrior from my hand, the one I initially mm -hmm. discarded, sure. but then chose not to. Mm-hmm. And then before I attack, I have to play out all my warriors. I'll play Delago, Blast Forge, Tunnel Digger, and Plunder. When this warrior enters play, controller player offers their deck to cut, so you want to split it in two. And I'll draw the top card. So each one of these coming into play has an ETB trigger of returning a card to your hand. Mm -hmm. So I'll return those two. And then I'll attack your... You're a boss man for a total of six. Okay. You're warlord. Sorry. Cool. Oh, we're playing some of the most interactive decks. Yeah. It's fun. Well, most of the game's like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's very, super fun. very, very, very interactive. My turn. Very interactive. Yes, and it is your turn. That that's what I like about the game. Like I love. I hate when games are just like solitaire. Um. All right. I will flip these fortifieds back down before I forget. Oh, don't put them next to each other. You know, a mechanic. I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. I, that's not gonna do me. Should much. start spreading my. Here, I'm gonna start spreading my warriors out here. I can't do that yet. I have no graveyard shenanigans I can pull off. Uh, I'm going to... Can I, cons I, I can only conscript one warrior per turn. I'm going to do this three. I'm going to swing at your two. My two? Yeah. All right, you're going to kill my two. Ugh. And then I'm the going to pass turn. The humanity, my two. Okay. All right, I'm going to draw for turn. Nope, you got it. No, yep. Oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's not gonna make a difference. But. Well, I, yeah, I don't. I don't remember what this does. It says when this card is revealed, immediately activate the following effect. You can target two cards in the field. Return the targeted cards to the respective owner's hand. I'm gonna target your two fortified cards. Okay. There's nothing I can do to respond to that at all. Just so everybody knows, you cannot respond to realms or synergies. They are, uh, they are instant. They happen. So I think this unified card I'm supposed to play face down. Okay. I'm not really sure though. I think I'm supposed to keep face up, whatever. Um, so now I can start using my special ability mm -hmm. and everything here. Yeah, so your Warlord, you can choose one of the two attacks. So there is a magical attack and a physical attack. You can attack with one of those two and then you can also do your special ability. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do my special ability. My cooldown is four turns, so once I use it, it will go on cooldown. And my special ability reads, look at the top five cards of my deck, rearrange those cards in any order that I choose, and return them to the top of my deck, draw a card. So the easiest way to do this... It also costs um, you uh, two Bloodborne. Yes. The easiest way to do that, I'm going to put my hand over here, face down on the table, and I'm going to draw five and then just rearrange them in my hand. You know what I mean? Okay. However you want to do it. I yeah. trust you implicitly. I would trust you with my life. That is a mistake. We've, we've only met each other once in Vegas. Yes. That's what you do with people you meet in Vegas. <laughs> Are you sponsored by Think Geek, by the way? I, know I you, am not. I know you got all these new fancy sponsors. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put this on top of my deck and then eventually draw that card. And then I'm going to organize these in a way that doesn't actually matter here. So normally you would set this up for a big turn, but I've got lots of... Oh, gosh. What is going That's on? Cool. Go into the deck. Yeah. How do these go in back into my hand? If I just drag them down here. Yeah. Oh, no. No, they... Here you go. I have to drag them to this little this little box. Oh, my gosh. This is embarrassing. No, it's not. Can you see my... You can't see my hand, right? No, but it's still embarrassing. You're embarrassing. I am going to play... All three my of whole, these cards. My <laughs> whole hand, because apparently it still has everything grouped. It says, target one dwarf warrior in your discard pile, shuffle the warrior back into your deck, then search your deck for one dwarf fortified card and add it to your hand. So, I think, again, I will be taking... Where's my three guy that you killed? You, oh, you didn't kill my three guy? Nope. I left I'm him. Gonna, yeah, I'm going to take Captain Card Draw and shuffle. He's going to shuffle back into my deck. So, that's why the order of the other ones didn't matter. Also, and then search... Also, also, no, i got to search... I gotta search for a Dwarf Fortified. I just like shuffling the decks on TTS. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> you know you can just hit no, R? No, stop. That's ridiculous. Oh, okay, okay. Don't I do don't that. No, that. never mind. When I have the VR headset, uh, it'll be like this. It'll be sweet. I have the VR headset. I just, it's not set up yet. I have to make too much content. All right. 
I'm going to get this card. This, oh, there's one card in my deck that I accidentally turned upside down. I'm going to get this card. I have to show it to you to prove that it's a fortified card. Okay. And then I will add it to my hand. Let me know when you're done. You're good. All right. I'm going to add it to my hand. I'm going to place that fortified card on the field face down. You'll never know what it is. You'll never be able to guess. I'm going to conscript a warrior, triggering blast back from the blast forge. Okay. And then if, uh, what is it? Return the targeted card to its owner's hand. I don't think I have anything on the field that allows me to conscript additional warriors this turn. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Are you targeting my lichen? Rift? Yes. Yeah, I am going to target that this time. Normally, I would target something of my own and then try to build some card advantage from there. But I can't. So and then I'm going to attack you for six with my warriors. It's five, right? I, oh, was... I didn't see that guy. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spread it. I cheated. I spread them out yeah. after you talked about the importance of spreading them out. And then you. And can, then I'm go You cannot. Go you cannot magical attack against a warlord. You have to only physical attack. Just so you know. Yes, warlords are immune to magic attacks, but I will physical attack your warlord with my staff of oracles. And I'm imagining my warrior just like with a big long stick, just bonking you, on the head, like. <laughs> like like Rafiki. Like Runescape combat. Like Rafi. I was thinking Rafiki style. You, you know go. what I mean. There All right, go. and then I think I am done. Cool. Um, what is this thing that I just moved here? And you can only use one attack per turn, magical or physical. I don't want to rewind time. How do I get this thing to go away? I can't. See I don't it. know what you're. I can't see what you're doing. There's this thing in, in the way. I don't know how to get it to go away. Okay. <laughs> It's just going to stay it's there. This is All right. riveting content. Let's go. Right. That's gone. My veil pierces. Uh, yeah. So uh, when this card is revealed, target one player. They must sacrifice two cards on their side of the field if able. I target you. Yep. And I am not able to respond to that at all. Mm -mm. Can we talk about how cool this game is going to be with multiplayer? Where like things like this are built in, like they've already built the game for multiplayer, where it says target player, so you get to decide which one it affects. Love it. Yeah, that is going to be pretty sweet. Um, one of the things I sacrifice is going to be blast back from the blast forge. Okay. And then it says this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can target one card on the field. Uh, I'm not going to destroy that. I think I should probably keep that. Yeah, probably. I, I think I'm just going to make you kill the meaty legend here. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to draw a card. My turn. Um, uh, I am gonna ba ba bum. Uh, place some fortified cards that you'll just bounce back to my hand later and I'll never get to play. You That's not true. It's like what's been You happening. have a window to play them every time. Yeah, but well, I think I, you they, gotta... they don't affect. They, they're like, it's oh. like nothing, nothing can, yeah. Anyway. Uh, and then I'm gonna, uh, Kind of like that. Ooh. Uh, you've got tech going on? All, all day, baby. Let's all go. Right, I'm going to swing. I'm going to play this warrior, uh, Inaka, Grim Souls of Evil. Uh, I'm going to swing at you for uh, it's going to die. So you're at two. But this has perish when this is destroyed or sent to the field from a discard pile. The controlling player, uh, I can target one Grim Undead or Unified or Fortified card from my discard pile and put it in my hand. I'm okay. going to take um, Imprints of the Grim. Look at this pile management over here. Yeah. I don't know if you're joking or not. I'm going to take Imprints, Imprints of the Grim, uh, which I am going to... 
How do I put these in a pile? Is that possible? Whatever. That's what my discard piles usually look like in real life anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to play <laughs> Prince of Persia. It's very realistic. Tabletop Simulator is a riot. All right, I'm going to play Imprints of the Grim. When this is first activated, I can target one undead warrior in my discard pile. Revive the targeted warrior to my side of the field. I'm going to take the same one. Uh, Prism. Um, okay. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm going to take... Let's see. Do I want Prism? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Prism this time. Um, oh, wait, wait. No, hold on. I should take the two. Let's see. What is this parish? Yeah, I'm gonna take Prism. Okay. Um, so that happens when it enters the field. Then I'm going to. I already played a warrior. Now I'm gonna swing at you with uh, with Prism. Uh, so you're at two. You'll be at one now. Uh, yep. When this warrior is destroyed, I target one Grim Undead warrior in my discard pile with attack of two or less, not named Prism, and revive it to my side of the field. I will take this guy. Uh, the meaty legend Dax the Grim Skull Crusher ah. uh, and now Dax will attack you uh, no I will perish without a perish effect so it's not nearly as cool <laughs> and then once per turn I can uh, pay Bloodborne 1 and target one Grim Undead Warrior in my discard pile with attack of 3 or less revive it to the field uh, oh no I'm going to take the chick here that, yep, this one. Um, okay. Agatha, and this has wisdom. I get to look at the top Look at the top two, two. Which you told me I can just do it like this, and then like yeah. that. What do I do? I yeah. can put one you... in my hand and one on the thing. Um, yeah. Ooh, ooh, wait, I kind of want that. Uh, I'm not putting uh, it on. Oh, you can't look good. at it. You're looking at it, you cheater. I no, saw not. that. I saw no, your little I'm eyeball. At these. Look. All right, I'm Look, that my eyeball's hand. green. Your eyeball is white. You were looking at it, you dingus. All right. And then now I have this going on. I'm going to... Uh, let's see. I know what your fortified thing does. Um, um, Okay, I'm gonna swing at you with Agatha for one. For one, I will activate my fortified card. Okay. So look at the top three cards in my deck. You had to pay Bloodborne two. I just I already did. Okay. Thank you. And then it puts this into play. Have you conscripted a warrior yet this turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. When this comes into play, it will trigger Blast Back from the Blast Forge. And I will return your meaty legend to your hand. The two attack warrior. Okay. And then I'll take one because it doesn't stop you from hitting me. So I reveal that. Those go into my hand. And the rest of the, the other two go into my hand. Okay. So now you just have a one out there, right? Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, and then oh sorry the revive trigger when this warrior enters play the controller player targets one unified or fortified card in the discard pile and adds it to their hand okay All right, I'm going to use this. I'm going to grab th this unified card. I'm going to use Imprints of the Grim and pay Bloodborne 1. Uh, so the first time this happened, it was when it entered the battlefield, but now I get this once per turn effect because it's ACT. Uh, I can target one Grim Undead Warrior on my discard pile with attack of three or less and revive it. Um, oh, I didn't know that. That's really good. Yeah. I'm going to take... Uh, Prism. Prism's going to attack your guy for one. Both of them die. There's a Parish effect on Prism. Yep. To get a uh, Undead Warrior not named Prism. And that is going to be this guy. 
Uh, Enaka, Grim Souls. Uh, that will swing at you for one. Uh, take one. And then I'll swing at you with my physical attack. Touch of death for five. Take five. What a turn. Yeah. That's what I do, baby. Love it. I'm good. Go ahead. All right. My turn. My cooldown will tick down. I will draw a card. Oh, dang. I will play into the Blast Forge. It says each time a Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior is conscripted to your side of the field, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior, I can add it to my side of the field. If it's any other card, send it to the discard pile. Wow. That seems pretty dang good. Can I do anything about that? Hold on. Uh... Nope. I'm going to conscript a Blast Forge Warrior card. Oh no, it's uh, a four. Rune Helm, the Blast Forge Wizard. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> huzzah! Huzzah! Should every huzzah. video we do together, we should make sure we include huzzah somewhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm in. I'm going to trigger uh, into the Blast Forge first, so I'll reveal the top card of my deck. It is not a Blast Forge Warrior card, so it goes in the graveyard. And then it will trigger Blast Back from the Blast Forge. And I will return the card with Perish okay. to your hand. I can put a unified card face down in a unified slot, right? Correct. Okay, I'll put a unified I card. I don't think you can just move around your unified cards once they're placed, though. Yeah, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> There's effects that affect things next to things. So you're I, cheating. You're a cheater. Well, On yeah, camera, everyone, Josh is a cheater. I am. I am 100% cheating. I'm going to put down one fortified card. Okay. I'm going to put down a second fortified card. I can't even see your fortified cards from my camera angle. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I had to I had to change mine actually. Um I'm going to physical attack your warrior with okay. my warlord. Okay. Is that that's legal, right? I can do that. Mhm. Mm and then I'm going to attack your your warlord with my warrior. Okay, for four. For four. And I ticked everything down. I think I am good, and I pass. Sweet. I get to draw. Yes. Um. All right. I will catch you guys in 20 minutes when Louis's done with his turn. <laughs> I'm gonna play <laughs> Rotting Flesh. Um, that sounds horrible. Uh, once per turn, I can play Bloodborne 4, which I will do. 1, 2, 3, 4. I will target, target one. one warrior on the field, your warrior uh, here. I will okay. send the top two cards of my deck to the discard pile. Uh, let's see if there's any triggers here. No, uh, he was destroyified. Uh, if this card was sent to the deck to the discard pile, I can target one warrior on the field and place, pay 6 and send it to the discard pile. You don't have any more, right? Uh, no. And this one doesn't have any effects. Um, okay, cool. So that destroyed the target warrior. Uh, then I will play pay Bloodborne 1 and target one Grim Undead Warrior in my discard pile with tech 3 or less and revive it to the field. And I will target no! Agatha. Uh, get some of that. The one with wisdom? Yeah, get some of that card draw. You know, there's a dwarf with wisdom that isn't in the starter deck, I don't think. Wow, that's unfortunate. I, I know. That mechanic wisdom is so is good. Wisdom is my favorite mechanic by far. Yeah, it's so good. I added um, it to my deck. It's in my deck. Don't worry. All right, I'm going to put that on the bottom here. While you're doing this, I'm going to hold up some spicy pulls for there we go. your viewers to check out. All right, um, let's take a look at my deck here. You want this one, I don't you? Pile. You can't have it. Uh, there's not a ton in here. Let's get some more stuff in here somehow. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't have much here. All right. I'm going to. I don't have much to revive. Um, 
You keep bouncing things to my hand. I'll put this one out. I'll construct my big boy. Oh, Necrosis what? Reaper of the Grim. What, what is this? <laughs> that guy is huge. Uh, he's huge. He's huge, he's huge. man. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. No. You've got some cards on the field. I'm going to use my Beyond Six Feet Under and send the top six cards of my deck to the discard pile. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's see. One. Uh, when this is sent to the deck, I can. Oh wait, I think I have to resolve this first, right? Before these things would resolve. Um, I think so. Yeah. You, have right. to, you generally have to resolve the whole card. Wait, um, what did you just undead use? Undead warriors. So uh, my synergy card. Uh, so there's one undead warrior, two undead warriors, three undead warriors in there. So you okay. have to sacrifice three cards on your side of the field. Three cards on my side of the field. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, this one for sure. This one for sure. And you've already conscripted a warrior this turn? I have. Right? Mm hmm You fatty, fatty McBig Boy here? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is so much thinking, Lewis. Dude, this game, I'm telling you, there's so much decision making in this game. I love there's it. There's so much thinking. This is so cool. <laughs> um, I think it's blast back from the blast forge. Okay. Uh, things. And that... so, sorry. Go ahead. Continue. No, this will trigger if it's destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can target one card on the field and return the targeted card to its owner's hand. And I'll target your Fatty McFatterson. Um, all right. I can't do anything with that. That sucks. Okay. Uh, then I will have some things that trigger when these sent these to the graveyard. Uh, this one, if it's sent to the deck to the discard pile, you can send the top three cards of my deck to the discard pile and reduce my damage count max by three. So I will do that. And okay. Send three more to the discard pile. One, two, three. Before that triggers, we still have this. Uh, I can target one fortified card on the field and eradicate this card and destroy the targeted card. I will destroy, I will destroy your fortified card. Okay. Uh, these hit the graveyard. Uh, you can sit back to your side of the field face down. I will do that with this fortified card when it is sent to the graveyard from my deck. All right. Now I will play Grim Reanimation. Uh, Bloodborne 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I will target one Grim Undead card in here. Oops. The Grim Undead. You know what? I can search this, can't I? Yeah, just right click and doing. search. Sorry, everyone's like, probably like, Louie, you're so bad at this stupid thing. Where's that yeah. for? There it is. Uh, and put it onto the battlefield. Um, uh, yep. I can only do that once per turn. Uh, I've already conscripted with my regular conscription. Uh, let's see. That doesn't do much. Okay, uh, now I've already done this. So now I'll swing at you for five with my warriors. Yep. And five with my mortis. All right. There it is. This draw step's going to be huge. 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 Tick down your countdown. All right, go to two. Draw a card. What did I draw? Do you have no cards in hand? 
I have no cards in hand. Oh, wow. I'm destroying yeah. you. Yeah, you are. Wow. So, again, I asked, and apparently this is a horrible matchup because I was curious, but I just love this dwarf deck so much. It's so much fun. So I will play this unified card. And it says, target one dwarf ward in your discard pile, shuffle it back into my deck, then search my deck for a dwarf fortified card, add it to my hand. Okay. I can only ask, activate one mining for middles per turn. So I need to... I'll activate the first part first, and I will grab... Mm, I think I have to grab my meaty legend to counter your meaty legend that I see coming. Okay. And then I will find a Dwarf Fortified card. And I will show you the Dwarf Fortified card. And I will put it on my side of the... Sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Gotcha. My bad. Yep. We're good. My B. My, my same, B. It's the same one. Yeah. Yep. And I will put it in a mystery spot that you'll never see coming. Hmm. And I can do my physical attack or my magical attack, right? Correct. I will physically attack your warrior for four and kill it. And then I will say go. Go. All right. Uh, this goes to four. I draw a card. Um. There's so much interaction in this game, as long as you don't have a zero card hand. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pay Bloodborne one and target a uh, Grim Undead with three or less. Search. Sounds good. Three or less here. Uh, should I just go for Brute Damage? I'm going for Brute Damage, I think. I'm going to take the Lycan Growth. That is Grim, okay. right? My Grim Guard Dong and Conscript him. That guy's uh, thick. Uh, and then you should still have Fatty McFatterson, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I'm going to directly attack you for one. Ow. Wait, I went down just out of habit. <laughs> All right, not 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 doing anything. No. All right, I'll di directly attack you for three. Sure. And then I'll play my Fatty McFatterson. Yeah. For five. He's, and directly attack you for five. And then I'll trigger this. And I'll Does that way? Hold three. on. Uh, okay. Yep. Activate. Oh, so I got to pay two. And it's if my warlord's being attacked directly. All right. So I get a dwarf warrior. So these two go to my hand. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? Come back. Uh, I can't. I can't get the card into my hand. All right, and that triggers into the blast forge. So I reveal the top card of my deck. Mm -hmm. It's not. So it goes into my graveyard. And I'll take five. Okay. Um. And then I will, let's see, I've already attacked, I've already attacked. Can I do anything to destroy your one so that I can directly attack you for five? Uh, what's your total? Is 70? I'm going to mm -hmm. push, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to special ability uh, and deal X damage. Oh, what? It was, oh, never mind. That's all warriors on the field. Dang. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to do it. Uh, no. Oh, I don't, never mind. I don't. I've got Rotting Flush. I'm going to pay Bloodborne 4 and destroy uh, one warrior on the field. Okay. Uh, and that then sends the top two cards of my deck to the discard pile. Yep. Oops. Oh, gosh. I hate it when I do that. Uh, all right. That's going to put here. Uh, you can destroy target one fortified card. You don't have any. And then, nope. Uh, I could destroy a warrior. Okay. Uh, now I will swing at you 
with my uh, my warlord for five. For five. Mm -hmm. Ouch. The the ouchies have happened. Here we go. They are real. All right, we good? Yep, you're good. All right, I'll take down to one. Um, I'll draw. This is over. Sorry, that's very rude of me. I should not sing my. I should. I should be more gracious with my wins. I mean, we're all kind of used to it. It's fine. They don't happen often. When they do, I've got to be happy about it. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I guess we got to try to make something happen here, but I don't think we can. Let's do it. Let's do it anyway. Where is that? I thought I just saw the card I'm looking for, and now I can't find it. <laughs> you ever do that? Yeah. Like, where, where, what's going on here? Okay. I'm going to play uh, Bloodborne 8. Oof. You're really going for it. Yeah. It says it's a, I can eradicate it, target one Blast Forward card in my discard pile as, one as well as one card in the field. I add the Blast Forward card to my hand and destroy the other targeted card. Yeah. So, where is it? You ever played Duke Nukem when yeah. you were younger? Uh -huh. mm, mm, mm. Where is it? Mm. Where is it? Mm. Um, so I'm looking for my discard pile for the Blast Forge card that I'm trying to. Here you go, and I'll grab Blast back from the Blast Forge. Yeah. And I'll play it. And then I'll play... Didn't you get to destroy another card of mine for something? No? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do. I, your meaty legend. Okay. No more, me no more meaty legend. No more meatiness. Yeah, and destroy the other card from Kator's explosive. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess I'll play Delago Blastforge Tunnel Digger. Digger. So can you uh, split my deck? Because we have, we've got triggers. We've got triggers. We've got triggers. I'll draw that card. Ha ha. Oh, we have to resolve all our triggers before I do anything. Uh, so, the first thing, if it's a is constricted my side of the field, target one so card on your side of the field, and return the targeted card to its owner's hand. Okay. So Wait, I'm going uh, to pick your. You're targeting what? Your backup meaty legend. Okay, I'm gonna do this too. When this card is first active, top card of discard pile. You can't activate my um, fortified or unified cards. You can't target them. You can't destroy them. Okay, gotcha. Sucks, but what are you gonna do? So. Uh, this guy goes back to your hand. Okay. And then I reveal the top card of my deck. Oh. It is not a warrior card. I'm at, what, 66? I don't think I can live. You could just stop doing things and de taking damage and attack. I could just, like... Is there a parish effect on this warrior? Nope. Just wisdom. Just wisdom. Sixty six. I could just go out on my own sword here. <laughs> no. I, I could do that. I could do that. That's that, like that an option. Be, that should be against the rules. <laughs> Can't take all blood. right. I'm blowing if it destroys you. Hmm. I'm going to use my um, physical attack and just deal four damage to your warrior. 
Right? Because I can kill your warrior, right? Mm -hmm. Still? Yep. This only okay. works on unified or fortified card. Okay. I'm going to put this unified card face down. And your max damage counter is what, 60? 65. I have to search here really quick. I'm debating activating my synergy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could deal eight damage, which feels vastly underwhelming. <laughs> That's good though. Um, I think I'll pass. I have to live through this turn to do anything. Okay. So I think I'll pass. All right. I'm going to play Grim Reanimation. Tar mm -hmm. uh, Bloodworn 4. Tar uh, hold on. No, I'm not. Let's see. You've got some. You can't do any of your unifieds. You would just be able to do fortifieds. Uh. I'm going to... Fortify shenanigans. I'm going to Death Wave. Deal X Which damage. Is? It's like, there'll be a four damage to all warriors on the field. Okay. Then I'm going to do this and take four. And um, target one you can just You can just kill me. That's, that's what I'm doing. Well, With I guess. Physical... Well, I want to no, use, just... use Tisha, though. I'm going to attack you with uh, Tilala, the Morbid oh. Grim Queen. I'm going to activate this card when target player declares an attack with a warrior of an attack of four or more. Return all warriors target player controls with an attack of four or more to their hand. Uh, I'm going to... Is that target? Return all warriors, so no. no. Okay. That returns to my hand. Okay. And then I'm gonna, I'll, I'll swing at you with my warlord. Then. There you go. Good <laughs> I game, wanted dude. to kill you with the warrior, the <laughs> undead. That's the point. Uh, yeah. Well, that was awesome. Good game, man. It's fun. The the, yeah. the back and forth is nuts. I think you're right. Though, like my use of the graveyard just overshadows your ability to put things out. It seems like the matchup and the dual deck or the whatever it is. Yeah, Dude. every everyone's gonna have good matchups and bad matchups. But what I like about this game is you have the ability to, even though I had a bad matchup, it was actually pretty close because I could have done an additional nine damage to you on that last turn. Yeah, and then that ability, that card I just played, deals four more if you attack have attacked with two or more warriors that deal four. I have also got turn. a lot of hours of play yeah. on the stack. You you you're just hopping in. So um, no, no, I've, but it's I played this a considerable amount of time. Even with the the where the matchups are, I mean, in any TCG, we're gonna have matchups favor another, but it just feels like you have so much interaction and so many things you can do. It's yeah. a blast. Yeah, for sure. What what were the fortifieds that you were never able to use? Like <laughs> it's just, just like them out. like uh, it's six damage to all warriors on the field, but it's bloodborne eighteen. Like yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah. huge hit. Uh, it's, and it's it's definitely decent if I. If I'm going for some kind of go wide strategy, right? But yeah, and then just one of the ones that's kind of like yours, where if you attack me directly, I can put a grim undead. I was gonna do this last turn, but you didn't attack me. Yeah. Ah, psych, dude. But, <laughs> well, uh, dude, good game. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, man. Well, hey, if you're still looking, uh, if you're interested in legions, there's a link in my comments, in my comment section for the Louis Louis bundle. You get uh, both of these decks that we played, all eight of the uh, the new starter decks that are two player kits. And then two booster boxes um, and a bunch of other stuff. Awesome game. Also, there's a. will leave a link to the Discord server. Great Discord server. Josh is in it. Uh, awesome Discord server with really, really cool community. Yeah. Always. I was playing with a buddy and I had a million questions and they were they were helping like quicker than I could ask the questions. People were yeah. answering our play questions. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, also, I would just say like this was an hour long game and I feel like games are probably more like thirty to forty minutes. But Tabletop Simulator, just slow, like it just slows it down, um, especially for it's us. It's closer to 30 to 45 minutes, and then also as we get as we get better at the yeah, game, right? For sure. 
Um, so yeah, hey everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you remember to be kind to the people around you. Go subscribe to Hometown TCG and uh, buy your fab products from minmaxgamesfab.com. <laughs> Do you like how I just like throw that in there for you? For us, I really. A, I'm wearing a Min Max Games hoodie right now. <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to find my ending with the logo. This is like awkward. I have a...